Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Cafe. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Blast Off for episode 4. Now, between this episode and last, my plan was to go out and do a bunch of mining, get quite a lot of resources, so we could start to kind of do a bit more progression uh, into some of the other quest lines within the quest book. However, uh, when I jumped on to start doing that, I realized that we are in a pretty dire situation in terms of our hydration levels. Uh, we're currently at 64% in the bottom left-hand corner here. So, the first thing I'm going to do before I go mining uh, is start working on our water situation so my first idea was to go outside and start cutting down some more trees get some more apples get some more saplings make some more water that way but that way is really slow and it also requires us to have leather um and we don't have any because we don't have any zombie brains so I would like to start working on a different quest line and a bit more of a reliable way or a bit of a better way I guess of, of getting water and that is this guy over here it says uh, meet melting snow <laughs> not meeting snow uh, it says i need some leaf cider to refill my coolant tank give me some and i will show you the way to obtain drinkable water via snow it says to hammer snow blocks into clumps you need xp after ensuring that you have some xp uh, put some snow blocks into a blacksmith's anvil and left click it with a hammer do not press and hold left click uh, so this quest actually gave us uh, a vat so we didn't really need to make one last episode but we did anyway it also gives us a blacksmith's anvil and a blacksmith's hammer so the first thing i'm going to do here is actually make a shovel because we do in fact need some snow in order to progress so let's take you uh, let's go over to our do we need a we do not need a binding for a shovel so can we make a bone shovel we can let's take that and then let's just go ahead and make like uh sure let's make a bone tool rod. why not and then let's get ourselves a shovel boom 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 nice not the best shovel in the world but it will do and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head outside and we're gonna get ourselves some snow thankfully we are in a biome where there is just an absolute butt ton of snow so let's go ahead and grab some of this uh, and then for every fall that we get, we can go ahead and go, boom, make a snow block. And if we were to go ahead and stick that on the anvil and hammer it, we should get some snow that we can actually use. So, let's grab both of these. Let's stick it down. Let's grab our snow. Put it on there. And now, if we look back in the quest book, and actually, if I press U here on the snow uh, and look at what it can be used for, you can see here in a blacksmith's anvil, it takes 15 hits, and we can turn snow into snow clumps. It needs to be placed in a bottle. So... The way it works is at first I thought we would just hold it down like this and I thought it was taking forever but it actually turns out you're supposed to keep clicking and boom, it's done. <laughs> Little tedious, but it's a lot better than holding it down. It does specify in the quest book, do not press and hold left click. That does not work. Instead, you kind of have to just hit it 15 times with your mouse, which you can do pretty quickly, actually. That gets us the snow clumps. If we press U again, we can combine these into empty glass bottles, which we should have uh, an abundance of right now, like so, to get ourselves bottles of snow. Then if we press U on the bottles of snow, we can put these in a vat for 10 seconds, uh, four of them, with 100 millibuckets of lava. And that should, actually, I think only one of them, I think because we have four in our stack yeah only one of them we get one uh, slightly clean water per one bottle of water now do we have any lava in there we do not uh we do however have 600 millibuckets in here so let's actually just go ahead and put all four of those in there and give it 10 seconds and they should turn into the uh, the slightly better versions of the water while that's doing that we are going to need some shears in just a second so let's see where's our is our ingot cast down here it is not where the heck is our ingot cast at it's there let's go get two iron ingots uh, i'm not going to take all of the iron out because we might need some more and i don't want to waste lava by uh, by pulling out and putting it back in again so i'm just going to take two of these let's quickly check and make sure that the recipe for a flint and steel has not changed and uh, there is the all likelihood that it has it's not a flint and steel that i'm after it's shears which i should did we get shears i think we were given shears weren't we we might not even need the iron ingot i might have just gone against my very word right there i'm fairly certain that we were given shears as a quest reward. We were. Boom. Shears. Because we are, in fact, going to need some oak leaves. So let's go and grab some of those real quick. Thankfully, these trees grow pretty quickly. It's very nice. Let's get ourselves just a ton of leaves. Thank you very much. That will do. Uh, and these shears have uh, have unbreaking three as well. So they're going to last forever, which is very, very nice. And now we're getting very low on, uh, on hydration. We're probably going to get... Uh, some debuffs coming soon. Let's grab all of these. We're now down to 200 millibuckets. That means this is done. And all we need to do is press U again. You can see if we combine up a slightly clean water with two bottles of water and two leaves, we get three fresh water, which we can then use to actually drink and actually get some stuff done. So, let's go over here. Let's just go boom, boom, 
boom, and then leaves on the top and the bottom. That gets us three water. We can then go ahead and do this, boom, boom. And if we go and fill this guy up, we can then use those, those bottles here to make even more water. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and do it again and again and again. And you can see now that we have a much better way of getting like a lot of water. Uh, I don't know what it's with the texture here that it's not showing up. It's a bit of a pain. But uh, these guys are almost all full right now which is pretty cool. I'm just going to leave those two. Actually, I might as well take it. There we go. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, let's fill this thing up to the max. Let's fill this guy up to the max. And then we've got four bottles of water there that we can just hang on to and use in the future. You know what? Actually, let's just go ahead and like fill this one up. Uh, I think it actually takes four to fill one of these up. Yeah, falls pretty much. Yeah, falls full. So we now have two full camel packs and another full camel pack here, all ready to go, which is absolutely fantastic. It means that we really shouldn't have to worry about too much water uh, in the near future. I'm also just going to move this real quick because this is not really where I wanted this to be. I just kind of slapped it down there um, because why not? And apparently it takes like a day and an age to break. Come on now. <laughs> There we go. All right. I was scared that was going to actually just like break Then We have to make another one. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go away now, guys. I'm going to go grab a bunch of copper and zinc because if we go ahead and look in the quest book. Uh, did we complete a quest there? No, we didn't. Uh, if we look in the quest book, this guy down here needs us to get ourselves um, the mold and the ingot mold. Now, actually, before I go away, I think we can actually do this. We got very close at the end of the episode before last. I think it was episode two. Uh, it turns out we need to do this to get a mold. And then the cast is just two ingots like that. Uh, it's a bit weird. If you type in cast, it doesn't actually tell you. Is it cast? No, it's mold. It doesn't actually tell you how to do this. Um, like how to make an ingot mold. You have to make... Now, let me see. I've got to go to flax beards here because I can't remember the name of the block exactly. We need to make a carving table, which is a blank mold and a bunch of wood. For whatever reason, it doesn't tell you that you need that. I don't think anywhere in the mod or in the quest book or in any eye or anything like that. So, um... Let's go ahead and make one of those. And I've just completely forgotten the recipe from two seconds ago. It is one of those. Thank you very much. And then all you have to do, get yourself another one of these. Put this guy down somewhere like that. And then right click. And there we go. Boom. Ingot mold. You can just cycle through those all you want. We need the ingot mold like that. And then we're going to need to grab ourselves this guy. Let me put this down like here. Do a quick test. It's pouring the right way. If we stick the mold down not like that. You want to make sure it's put down facing this way. So you can kind of close it like that. And then all you got to do, right click it with the ingot mold. And it is now set to ingot. <laughs> That's what we need to do. So now in order to make some of the brass that is going to be required for the next bit of this quest. Boom, there we go. We need 16 brass. We're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves 12 ingots of copper and 4 ingots of zinc. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go away. We don't have, we've got 1 copper and no zinc. I'm going to go away. I'm going to go do some mining. I might do some hammering if we come across any meteors. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, and we are back in the base. You can actually go ahead and smelt these uh, little smash zinc ores and uh, smash copper ores right up in the furnace here, which is something I had absolutely no idea you could do, but uh, it is possible. So let's go ahead and throw the 12 of those that we need in there. And whilst we're waiting for that to finish, I would like to go ahead and quickly complete another quest in the quest book here, that being this one, the draws quest, which need a storage upgrade mark two, which requires, I believe, four iron. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need four iron, four sticks, and an upgrade template, which is just the draws we made last time with a bunch of sticks, which shouldn't be too hard at all. Is that a two by two draw that we need in there? It is not. It's a one by two. Can we make it using a two by two? We can. Good stuff. Okay. So let's take one. Have we got four. Good stuff. All right. Let's see. Where are our draws at? I'm pretty sure. There we go. <laughs> we'll take one of those. Uh, we'll also go ahead and make some more sticks. I did go ahead and cut down quite a few more trees uh, since the end of last episode. So we do have quite a bit of wood and quite a lot of saplings now, which is always nice. Eight of those should be fine. Uh, we'll go boom. And then we'll stick the draw in the middle. You can go there. And then we need four sticks and four iron. And voila. We're done. Nice. Let's go ahead and manually detect. We need four of them? You want us to make four of them? What? What? Oh my gosh, how much iron do we have? This is not... We uh, we got ten iron in there. That's not really enough. We've got enough to... And that's not a great use of iron either. You want us to make four upgrades to get a compacting draw. That just seems like a bad deal all around. 
uh, especially for me, that does not have any uh, fuel in it. Let's also go ahead and eat some more of our good food that we have. I think a hearty zombie meal uh, is... Actually, how much does that do? That does a lot. I don't want to waste that uh, when we don't need to. Let's eat some grapes. <laughs> grapes sound like a better idea. Uh, now, I did get a little bit of iron. We have two there, so we could probably use this. I don't know if you can put... Uh, actually, I guess it's 12. Yeah, that does give us enough, actually. So let's go ahead and pull those out. Uh, we should probably make another furnace while we're at it. So let's try and get eight more cobblestone. That's going to allow us to uh, to smelt up some of this iron whilst we're smelting up the copper. We could also use it to smelt up the copper faster uh, if we were being uh, smart about it. Oh, I was going to try and make a quick dash right there. There we go. And last one. Good stuff. Oh, okay. Usually that works. Uh, I would like to set up an unlimited cobblestone generator uh, using some, uh, some transfer nodes. However, unfortunately, due to the way the pack is set up, that is... Uh, something that is very, very, very expensive to do. I'll show you the recipe for it. Uh, for a transfer node from extra utilities in a second. I'm hoping it hasn't... Well, I'm not hoping. I don't think it's changed since uh, since I last played. Uh, transfer node. This guy over here. Yeah, it requires three compacting drawers, two pistons, one 64k ME storage cell, which requires all the stuff from applied energistics that we know and love, as well as three enhanced Galgadorian ingots, which are made from the large lumps of Galgador, which are just crazy to make. Uh, let's see here. Is there no recipe for those? There should be. Um... Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. We need flipping eyes of Galgador. They're expensive, is the whole point. So, it's going to be a while before we can get one of those. Maybe there's another way we can do it. We'll see. Anyway, for now, let's show you how this works. So, in order to get uh, the brass that we need, all we have to do is simply throw... It's a 3 to 1 ratio, so 3 of these. 1, 2, 3. Oh, no, wait. Okay. That's uh, not right at all. <laughs> the way this works, we need to have uh, lava or some kind of fuel, uh, some kind of heat source underneath it. Uh, I'm going to use lava. Oh, wow. And I put it in the world's stupidest place because there's obsidian there which i'm pretty sure we cannot mine but i'm gonna break anyway because i just want to put it there uh, actually what i'm gonna do i'm gonna we need some lava so i'm gonna go away i'm gonna make some lava we're gonna have to wait for it to finish so we'll get four cobblestone we'll stick that four cobblestone into the crucible here start getting some lava i'm gonna go away and break that cobblestone break that obsidian uh, and i'll be back in a second once we have the lava to heat up the crucible Okay, so it turns out that we actually managed to pick up that obsidian. I thought it was just going to break. Uh, so I've gone ahead and done I've gone ahead and made a chisel from the chisel mod, which is just a stick and an iron. And we can actually go ahead and turn that back into normal obsidian. And what I'm thinking here is, I'm thinking obsidian might be a higher tier pickaxe than iron is. Although I'm not 100% sure. Let me... Let's... Ooh, uh, ooh. I know we can upgrade this pickaxe here, this iron pickaxe. To the next two of pickaxe. Also, people told me that it needs to be fully repaired in order for it to actually work. So, do we have any bone meal that's not in... Is it in here? There's one in there. Can I repair this fully with one? I can. Can I upgrade this to, like, an obsidian one? If I make an obsidian head, that is. I do need to do that first. Uh, let's see. Let's just make another one here real quick. And let's see. Does that work? If it does... That's cool, because I think the... Obs oh, it does. Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to test something here. Is obsidian better than iron? We have diamonds right here. The iron that we have cannot mine those diamonds. I am wondering if the obsidian right here can actually mine those diamonds. If it can... Oh, it can't. What the heck? Is this the same tier as... As, um... As iron? There's also some redstone that I would like to try and mine... Uh, a bit higher up, but we don't really... Actually, I guess we could nerd pole out of wood, which is going to make a really ugly nerd pole, but it works as a nerd pole nonetheless. Let me try and see. What does that say? That says it requires tier 4. I think redstone might also require tier 4, which I think might be just... If we uh, if we take our obsidian or our iron pickaxe, I think these are both tier 3 right now. Yeah, we can't mine it. I think we have to take both of these and get the mining level up. Or the, uh, the mining XP up, should I say. This one is very actually... It's actually really close. It's at... That one's only at a mining level of copper. This one's at a mining level of iron. So I think what we need to do is we need to go down and mine like 247 more blocks with this. Um, until we can get it up to 100... Oh, sorry, 147... 247 more blocks. Uh, until we can get the mining XP of this up to like level this up. At which point I think it'll be able to mine the redstone and the diamond. So it turns out we were wrong in terms of our... Um, 
obsidian pick here, but it's not really too much lost. We got the obsidian for free. The good news is we have a bunch of obsidian around the base now, so we can make uh, some more obsidian tools if we so wished. Uh, and it was worth a try. If it had worked, that would have been pretty cool. Is our lava now done? It is not. However, it's almost there. So let's grab our bucket and, and let's get ready here. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to stick that underneath right there. And then what we should be able to do is make ourselves some brass. So we take the lava. We're going to stick it down under here. Fire also works. You can also use like netherrack with with fire as well. I'm going to put that back down there. And now all we need to do is if we grab our copper, like I was about to say earlier, it's a three to one ratio. So three copper. All you got to do is just drop it in. Three copper and one zinc makes brass. If we throw all of this in, I think we can do that. Oh, not quite. <laughs> um, can we like throw the zinc in? Nope, no space. Okay. Um, I'm hoping this makes... I'm hoping when we right-click this, it actually pulls out the um, the brass first. We got to... Oh, yep. Yeah, we got to open it and then close... Oh, we got to close it. Close it. And then open it. <laughs> okay, that failed miserably. Close it, I think. Then pour it over. There you see. It lost a little bit. Open it. And we got copper back. Okay, so I did that a little bit wrong. I kind of didn't quite understand the scope of, of this, but it's okay. We can always put it back in. It didn't actually use any fuel to uh, to do that, so uh, I did that wrong again there. Uh, if we put that back down, that did actually work that time. We timed it just right. That's probably going to get us copper again. At the bottom of this, there will be some brass, trust me. Uh, I just tried to throw in a bit too much at once. It's a cool animation. I'll give it that. It's a bit tedious, <laughs> but that's fine. Come on. Twill over. There we go. That's going to get us more copper. More copper. Hey, and that goes brass. Okay, so we're now onto the brass. If we keep pouring that over, uh, let's. Uh, we gotta get rid of some more stuff. Our inventory is getting very full right now. Let's pour that over again. And yeah, that should keep getting us brass. We should get four brass from this because we put in three copper and one zinc, uh, which totals the four brass that we get. <coughs> And if we do that a bunch of times, we should get all of the, the brass that we need to complete that quest. Because I did get 12 copper and 4 brass, which is 16 ingots in total. And because you get 1 brass per ingot that you throw in there, uh, it should actually work out just fine. So, we'll do the same again. 1, 2, 3. This time we'll do it right. Looks like we're going to do it one at a time here. Throw one zinc in. And then that should get us 4 more brass. So, we can just go ahead and let out one at a time here. And the last one here. Oh, no. No. Oh, I need to get that timing right. Last one. Liquid's disappeared. And voila, there we go. 16, boom, and boom, done. Play me world. We got ourselves an esteemed innovation, which is, I guess, a book, as well as 50, uh, 32 brass pistons. I don't know why I was going to say like 15 there. Uh, oh, I'm not quite sure what this guy this is. It's like a guide, a brief guide to steam power by Gaming on Caffeine. Apparently, it's by me. Which is pretty nice. This is a very extensive list. It's kind of like the book from Britannia, I guess. And also maybe the Thermonomicon uh, or any other book. Materials are new from Tinker's Construct. Um, but yeah, so now the next little quest line here, or the sub-quest line, I guess, uh, is a bunch of stuff to do with uh, Flax Beard Steam Power. Uh, we've also got this one over here. I would like to find a Runic Dungeon so we can get this Glowstone and move it to a little bit of Britannia as well. And also, once we can mine Redstone, we can move into the f uh, Farming Steve style, get ourselves this Avengers Assemble, uh, because the Cart Assembler does require, I think, like three Redstone in order to get it up and running. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to end this episode of Blast Off here. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time.